if you notice the attacks that come in and I would just say from your narcissist that, that could be anything from your uh, elected officials your neighbor your family member it's just this non-human entity that doesn't have a, a coherent communication style. If it if it's there, it's like you know, it's it's pretty much uh, you know um, one-sided communication, or more like selective hearing. They have it's selective, not only hearing but subject matter, and you don't, um, you're not included unless you would like to take responsibility, which is for all the, um, anything that goes awry, of course, they are good at just placing blame on you, especially when you get upset <laughs> when they do something wrong. You're acting up. And it's in your genes, whatever that is, that won't let you sit still under their rule and bullshit being fed. Whatever cancers that they give you, or psychosomatic stress that compounds with, God, the wafting um, amount of chemicals that they're using everywhere. Um, that's that development is definitely in your genes. The, the side effects you get with all of that is hereditary. No, you're supposed to believe that you're you're a malfunctioning thing. You're like less than, while they're um, pounding you with ways um, that, that you don't see. It's um, in ways that you don't see, and you just have to believe. Well, yeah, you know they're right. I can do it. I'm about to do it, you know. Uh, they poured all of this asphalt over there. Babes, I'm having like strange, itchy eye, and it's really hard to um, get a good breath of fresh air where I used to want to get a, a, everywhere in my yard over there. It has, you know, it's like real. It's like, okay, so I'm going to call the environmentalist, but um, I don't want to see. I, I have no desire to to like box somebody or or fight my neighbor. But you, uh, I could just figure, you know, um, the way that the non-presence is, it's just non-present. You know, and and the reason why I would snap. And all of a sudden start communicating wildly to the point of the sheriff coming over is because there was, there was something that it snapped in front of me. I'm watching six truckloads of material being brought in. And one of the, um, the code enforcement people wanted to clarify that they're like, well, it just sounds like to me that you don't understand that that they have a project going on, that they put a sign up saying this project funded by blah, blah. And I'm like, no, that's the thing. Is just uh, no warning or anything or even a plan. They didn't move a single stone on that property to say, well, we're bringing in some stuff, so let's do this and that. It was just... <laughs> and, and, and then I think um, they're looking for a, a tractor man and then sat there for three days. And then that three days, I was like, babe, you have to get rid of this. Don't do it. Don't do it. There's still time. I, I told him that. And like he just went on and did it. And so I have a, a film of, of that happening. I'm sorry that I keep making a big deal about it. But no, you know, then there's like this, the way that he pushed it down towards the fencing down there. Um, with the runoff and everything. I mean, that that is going to be so toxic for the creek. It should be cleaned up. <laughs> You know, I can, you know, we can go to court 
and this would only be to, to, to like clarify, this guy is checking out. He's checking out. Was it really needed, sir? So are the other people and the other people over there. Babes, you can use an alternative. If that was really the plan and, and you're having trouble with your car on the flat surface, the steepest one is this guy next door. He has a pretty good grade. The other ones are really flat and um, it's a pretty big area. I said 75 cubic yards, but, um, well, I, I think I this guy has definitely got 75 cubic yards, way more than that, but I think we're looking at cubic feet. And over there, I think it's like 50 or so, and anyway, or yards, really, but um, it's hideous. And the backlash that I got over that, really just bullying, narcissistic bullying. Didn't catch me on a, on a good day. You come knocking on my door about the signs that I put up that I'm protesting and you say something about get off my property. It's like, well, so what? So what? Get the hell off of my property. And they just pissed me off. They just caught me on. It's really, really stressful for me as an empath to understand what's happening here. It's really hard to, to live here on the planet with people who are um, unhealthy and then they're getting uglier and uglier because of the unhealthiness and it, we're not excluded I mean just thinking this all the time drags us down we're, we're always making this face like uh, you know it's like don't, well don't get stuck that way try and smile and I know we're supposed to focus on well focus on the things that you want in your life it's like oh, I was doing that but what are these people doing man can, can we get some fucking uh, more space in between us i mean i'm grateful for the six feet you know but what if we what if what if we have to go home and and we get start gardening in the same neighborhood together these people are gardening a freaking toxic waste zone Unfortunately, it's not isolated to their place. I mean, you can smell it. You can, you know, it's like I'm not. So I got, I got a lot of sympathy from from the woman here. I know how to talk to these people. I know how to be clear, and then they hear it, and they're like, it's just like 5D all the way. They're like, oh, really? okay, yeah, no, really, you have a case, uh huh, yeah, no, check all these numbers, and I just apologize to everybody because I. Um, I am just like a little infant child, you know, this is the time to look at those parts about ourselves. It's like, well, of, of course, I mean, I am the one that says, uh, duh, can, can we just get to know each other? And, and don't let it get to where we start flailing like that. And don't let the humanity flail, go in and find out what's wrong, little child, what's wrong. And, 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 and. <laughs> Now, everything's mo wrong, mommy. There's an asphalt attack happening here. I mean, we don't mind. You know, I'm looking around. It's like, yeah, I know people are. Some people, you know, it would be interesting to go to every residential area up here and count how many versus how many. Because I see some people, they, they're using residential, I would say residential grade, you know, home material, not city material. But some of them are using the city material. But what I mean is it's just cement. And somebody says that's even more toxic. It's like, you couldn't convince me that. Babe, would you fucking put your nose on and smell and feel that shit going into your molecular structure? The the other the other asphalt, I'm not not asphalt, but cement kind of maybe even cobblestone driveways and bricks and and granite. I would like to count how many are of those are there versus the asphalt people. It'd be really interesting, wouldn't it, to find out and then say and say, you know what, it outnumbers that that people are they choose to put rocks down or little gravels down when they when they do finally put something down. They don't want their tires on the mud, they don't want to slip around. It's like, well by the way, we live in upper in Southern California desert where it's the high desert where it's like this only happens three uh, three months out of the year. Two weeks out of the month, big deal, rough it a little bit, but look at how beautiful it is. Don't you want a snow flower to come up on your property? No? A lot of these people are older that might be doing this, but no, um, they're not even home. But if they are, I mean, 
you would think that they want to just have it. They can come home to their yard and see a lizard and something interacting with a blade of grass. Maybe, I don't know. Really, I know that in the future, and a lot of people don't like this, but we have to create it this way for us. We can't just have them create it for us. And I say, yeah, everybody wake up. We have water coming down here. What do we grow? What do we grow? Do you grow apples? Do you have corn? And then make it something that we know each other about. I have tons of apples and, and I've been so... Everybody's talking about the Schumann residence, resonance and, and the the sun flares. And really, it's just you're being bombarded by some 60,000 satellites into your living room. Now, if it's not your cell phone, you've got tons of fucking shit bombarding you, let alone if there's a solar flare, you're done. You're done. That's me. That's me completely just I'm like, man, what is wrong? Well, blame it on that fucking solar flare. We're really, really um, sensitive. I'm ultra sensitive, um, super sensitive empath that is all, also suffering from, I, I have radiation poisoning. You know, from too much cell phone use, and uh, I can go on and on about that. Um, and what can see if you live in a place that I do, in this area, you can easily co um, combat it and even get rid of it. You know, like with just leaning against a tree or or jumping in the creek or laying flat on the ground, um, just trying to rinse yourself of the EMF waves. Um, and I do that frequently. I also pray a lot. I, I'm somebody who, um, you know, I know what prayer is. The, hitting that state of prayer, which is a higher vibrational frequency. It's like you, just, just your being there raises other people's frequency or like say plants grow better. Or you pray into something and it makes a big difference. You drink it and it's good for you, you know. That's all I know, to tell you the truth. I don't really believe in medicine or anything like that is just uh, pray to Jesus and God and boy am I going to post this because I, I'm against the um, Christianity the church and all that stuff is like no but Christ is something and healing is true and maybe Jesus was somebody talking about something but then yes they kill their hello try it try to um, stick up for the good stuff and let's see who's out there for you nobody hardly anybody a lot of people are shot down I'm saying, nah, the bad stuff is great. Let's do it. And I'm like, I know. Let's get on that cell phone and eat it up. My dad. My dad said there's three things, toxic, deadly, that you want to stay away from at all costs. One of them is religion. The other one is smoking cigarettes, tobacco. And the other is drinking alcohol. I'm like, okay, I won't do it. That's easy. No, you just told me, never dip your head inside of a, of a well-used toilet that's never been flushed yet. I'm like, Psh, you will not find me struggling to do that. I have, I've, you know, six feet distance, more like 600 acres. Can I have 600 acres?